This is Elementary OS 8.1 powered by Pantheon Desktop and Ubuntu 24.04 LTS which brings new changes including a new secure session, desktop upgrades along with new applications, new features and performance improvements. Now let's take a look at the all new features of Elementary OS 8.1. Elementary OS 8.1 now uses a secure session by default. In simple terms, this means Valent is the default display server when you log in. This improves privacy and security by requiring applications to ask for explicit permissions for performing sensitive actions like taking screenshots or reading keystrokes. It also dims the screen during password prompts, preventing malicious applications from capturing your credentials. With that said, unlike Ubuntu, Elementary 8.1 still supports both Valent and X11. As I mentioned earlier, the secure session is powered by Valent, offering better support for modern hardware and a smoother desktop experience. At the same time, the older X11 based classic session is still available as a fallback if needed. Now this update adds a blur behind effect for translucent elements like the dock, notifications and the window apps feature, giving the desktop a more modern look. The Bluetooth settings page has been redesigned for a cleaner and more consistent appearance. The folder icons have been updated with a more rounded design that better matches the false application icon. Also, the workspace feature now lives in the dock. A plus button lets you create new workspaces, while existing ones can be rearranged with drag and drop, and clicking the active workspaces open the multitasking view. The dark mode scheduling has been improved so you can manually toggle it. If you don't like the user interface animations, the reduce motion setting now handles more animations across the desktop and applications. Fractional display scaling is now available in the secure session that helps in fixing scaling issues on high resolution displays. Some applications ignore notification setting, making them hard to block. In Elementary OS 8.1, you can now disable notification bubbles per application in system settings. Now screenshot notifications open the image viewer when clicked.
and also include an option to show the image inside the files. Now this update supports ARM architecture, which means you can install it on ARM-compatible devices like Apple Silicon or Raspberry Pi 5. You can try running Elementary OS 8.1 on Apple Silicon using VirtualBox and UDM. I tried it on my M4 Mac and it worked perfectly. Now this update ships with Linux kernel 6.13, which is a hardware enablement kernel. This is a newer Ubuntu kernel backported to a long-term support release. It brings support for modern hardware that wasn't available when the LTS was first released along with newer features and improved performance. At the same time, it maintains the stability you expect from an LTS release, making it easier for users with newer devices to adopt elementary OS without sacrificing reliability. A system monitor application has been one of the most requested features and Elementary 8.1 finally includes this option. The new monitor application lets you track system resources and running processes with optional panel indicators. System updates are now more informative. You can see the update size before downloading, track progress with a download bar, and update now skip held back packages to ensure more reliable installs. And that's pretty much it. These are the new changes and updates in Elementary OS 8.1. The thanks to Pantheon Desktop, Kernel 6.14, and Ubuntu 24.04 package base, it offers a stable Linux desktop experience with secure session as default for the end user. And that's pretty much it. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you have any questions or queries, do post them. Thank you so much for watching. This has been KSK Royal. I will see you in the next one.